Now we'll add some more methods and set values for some of the properties in our model class. I'm going to scroll down in my code to the data loaded function. And below the code that's already in there, I'm going to run a function that we haven't defined yet called set current index. I'm going to pass in a value of current index. Current index is a property here that we've defined at the top of the code. It's initialized to zero. Now let's define the set current index method. I'll do that right above the data loaded method. So this is going to be public. So public function set current index. It's going to receive a parameter called index, which will have a data type of integer. I'll have it return void and type some curly braces there. Now we'll define what happens inside of this method. First, we'll set the value of current index equal to whatever value is passed in through the index property. So current index equals index. Next, we'll run some methods that we'll define later. First, we'll run control current index. This is a method that's going to make sure that the index is in bounds, so to speak, so that the current index isn't a number that's invalid. So let's say we have four images in our gallery. We don't want the index number to be 15 because that number is out of bounds and will give an error. So control current index will control that. Next, we'll run a method called update data. Update data is going to update the data in the model. We're going to talk about this more later in this chapter. For right now, let's define control current index and update data. Control current index is going to be a private method. So create a private method called control current index. It's not going to receive any parameters. It's going to return void. And I'm not going to define it other than just defining the skeleton right here. And last, right above the control current index method, I'm going to create a protected method called update data. Again, protected methods can only be used by subclasses. It's not going to receive any parameters. The return data type is void. And I'll just write the curly braces there. Save the file. Check your code to make sure there are any errors. And now we have the basic functionality of our model and just need to do a few more things until it's complete.